Have you ever wondered how Bitcoin's price rise affects the market? Well, according to CoinGlass, the one-week Bitcoin liquidation heat map showed that numerous shorts holding the $27,450 position have been wiped out of the market. Liquidation occurs when a position has run out of margin cover, meaning that the trade has to be settled through force closing. On the other hand, the Bitcoin liquidation heat map is a visual representation of likely liquidation levels based on previous price trends. A Bitcoin uh, from Cohen last post above, the predicted liquidation point could be around 27,660, uh, and this may happen if BTC breaks $28,000. Um, but what are the chances? One metric that provides um, insight into a possible projection is Bitcoin's open interest alongside the price action. Uh, open interest is defined as the amount of long and short positions uh, on a derivatives exchange. High open interest often means strong participation in the market, which also translates to high liquidity. Another interesting part is that uh, a high open interest opens the floodgates increase volatility. Uh, meanwhile, low open interest signals low liquidity and reduced participation in the market. According to CoinLass, Bitcoin's open interest has significantly increased within the last 12 hours. With the BTC price also on an uptrend, there's a likelihood of a rise beyond $28,000 rather than a fall below $27,000. Interestingly, the average derivatives trader also shared the same sentiment as indicated by the funding rate. As a measure of market sentiment, funding rates track open short or long positions. When the funding rate is negative, it means shorts are paying longs a funding fee, and the average sentiment is bearish. But at point one percent, Bitcoin's press time funding rate meant the trainers were bullish on the price action. However, using only metrics linked to the futures market and assessing the potential BTC direction could be risky. Therefore, it is also important to evaluate spot market activity. Here the exchange inflow and exchange outflow come into play. The exchange inflow measures the number of BTC sent from external wallets into exchanges. On the other hand, the exchange... Yeah.